In today's video, we are diving into one of the most widely using remote sensing indices known as Normalized Difference Vegetation Index. And we can find this by simply applying this formula. Normalized Difference Vegetation Index is a simple index that measures the difference between near infrared red band and red band. So its value always range from minus 1 to plus 1. And DVA is very helpful for monitoring the crop health or crops condition and also very helpful for monitoring the land cover in any satellite imagery you can also classify the values in between minus one to plus one uh, just like this if you are checking the health of any plant or any crop and you can also classify its values just like this the values that are in minus or negative are actually representing the water. Okay, so in this tutorial, we will see that how can NDVI is very helpful for checking the land cover in any satellite imagery. So first of all, we need two bands of any satellite. So if you are working on Landsat 8, then you need to import the fifth band that is NIR band. So you can say it NIR and the four band that is red band before applying the formula let's understand why the positive values are for vegetation and the negative values are for water bodies so when the vegetation is high we know the healthy vegetation reflect more near infrared light as compared to red light because red light is completely absorbed by its chlorophyll and in this result the there will be the larger difference between NIR and red band and the NDVA value will be closer to plus one uh, will represent the healthy vegetation in other case if the vegetation is in stressed or vegetation will be absent then the NIR then it's reflect less NIR band and more red light so the difference between NIR and red band will become smaller and the value will come close to zero. And in third case, if the red light reflection is higher than near infrared light in case of water, because water completely absorbs NIR energy, so the values can be negative. So for applying this formula, uh, we need a tool that is known as raster calculator just go to search and uh, raster calculator this tool and now we will apply this formula the difference between NIR and red band but we will use a function that is known as float float NIR minus float red divided by float NIR plus red band and from over here you can select the output so why we are using the float uh, but the real formula for uh, calculating a NDVI is actually this simply the NIR red band so why we are using the float function over here here we are using the float function because it help us to preserve the decimal values and give us the accurate results of NDVI. It's so suppose we are not using this float function, then this expression will be operate as integer division. But as we know that the values of NDVI range from minus one to plus one, and uh, there can be a lot of decimal values in between them. And if we will, and if we will run this formula without using float function then it can lead to incorrect result by rounding down to zero instead of giving 0 0.67 so actually the float function will help us to preserve the decimal values so you can uh, give output uh, location to your raster data set and just hit ok here you can see that the values are in between minus one and plus one okay so now in this uh, NDVI layer we will 
apply that classification so let's start with this classification the values that are in negative are actually water so we will go to its properties and then classify and three classes the values that are from minus 0 0.2 to 0 are actually the water and then the values that are 0 0.2 are bare land 0 0.2 and after that other values and the higher values will be the vegetation so just hit ok and this is water bodies and these are the land or built up area and this is the vegetation just hit ok so you can see over here if you will read on internet then there is a lot of research that is only has been done on the ranges of NDVI so in this tutorial we are our main focus is toward mapping the land cover with the help of NDVI so let's go to our catalog and then import a shape file of Pakistan and this is the city of Muzaffarabad just select this one and create a layer from selected feature and just select this shape file and in image analysis tool from over here just select your NDVI layer from over here just hit this button and clip the NDVI for your region of interest just like this so now we will make more classes in this like four classes in land cover of Muzaffarabad so this is the main city so it can be say as built up area and if you want to create a beautiful map for NDVI then just uh, We'll go to the layer layout layout view. Move all other layer and make a A5 portrait. Just insert a northing arrow from over here and insert a title. NDVI for Muzaffarabad 2024. You can see its style from over here. You can increase its size. Make it bold. Insert a scale bar from our shape. Double click on it and make it KM. Just like this and insert legends. Okay, okay. you can remove this city boundary and remove the legend from over here so these are for water or snow bodies and this is for bare land and the font style from over here and uh, you can also add some grids in this layout and from here just export your map and dvi so this is the ndvi layout that we just export from our arc map so you can see over here a major difference between the positive and negative uh, ranges of NDVI the negative values are representing the water bodies clearly 
and in northern area the mountains are covered with snow and then bare land and then some light vegetation and then dense vegetation so ndvi is very helpful in this is to measure the vegetation in any land cover or for monitoring the health of vegetation in any satellite imagery so many thanks take care allah